Hello friends, so today we talk about the box plots. So let's get started. So far we have looked at uh, three different graphs to display numeric data such as the diameter of a circle uh, sampled from production line. We use histogram dot plots and individual value plots. Uh, the individual value plot and dot plot provide details about the individual data points, while the histogram groups data values together to better reveal the overall shape of the distribution. So let's look uh, uh, at another graph, the box, uh, the box, box plot. So that helps us see larger patterns in the distribution of our data. So let's look uh, at how a box plot is constructed. Start with an individual, uh, individual value plot and divide the data points into four equal, four equal paths or quarters. So next we draw a box, we draw a box to encompass the middle two quarters or 50%, 50% of the data points. The line that divides the data in half is called median or second quartile. The lower edge of the box is the first quartile or 50% of data points are below this line. The top of the box is the third quartile. 70% of the data points are below this line. The height of the box from Q1 to Q2, from Q1 to Q3, is called interquartile range. We draw lines called whiskers from the top and bottom stop and bottom of the box to show the spread of the remaining data. Whiskers never extend beyond one and a half times of uh, the interquartile inter range. Any points outside of this range are outliers and are displayed, in, displayed individually. Okay, so here an example. So which part of the box plot presents the median A, B, C, or D? Box plot uh, helps us summarize the distribution of our data. For example, uh, cons consider this box plot of diameter of circles. The median, uh, median value is around 40. That is half of the diameter less than 40 and half of diameter longer than 40. Notice that the quarters get progressively wider and there many and there many samples mark as outliers. The box plot indicates that the data are skewed. So are they skewed left or right? Okay, we can see the diameters are more spread out above the median than below. So, which indicates that the data are right skewed. For example, these are puff plots of diameter values of circles for uh, line 1 and line 2. According to the box, uh, the box plots, which line produce the circles with more variable diameters? We can see here line 2 values span, uh, span a wider range than the line 1, indicating that the line, two, di line 2's diameters are more variable. Plus, plus and individual value plus must it easy to compare groups of data 
and to draw general observations. You can see here the box plot. So it appears that waste in ship two are generally uh, are uh, generally heavier than ship one. Uh, it appears that the weight in ship three have a large larger range of weight than uh, for uh, ship one and ship two. And you see here the individual value plot. You can see the sim similar observations can be made from the individual value plot of the same data, but the individual value plot provides additional insight because it clearly shows that the sample of ship tree, the sample of ship tree was quite a small, it's around 10 data points, just one much heavier much heavier this sample has caused the large range in the ship three. So in summary, bus plus and individual value plus can be used to compare groups of data and to make uh, to make general observations. And care should be taken to check how much data is contained within each group before any observations are made, particularly with box plots. If you have small sample sizes, uh, let's say uh, less than 25 data points in any one group, it is safer to use an individual value plot. Let's review. Uh, we can use a box plot to summarize important aspects of the distribution of numeric data like histograms, box plots work best with moderate to large sample sizes like an individual value plus. Box plots are very useful for comparing two or more variables. Also, the box, box plots displays quartile information that the other graphs do not. Thank you for your listening. In the next lesson, we will talk about the time series plots.